Hey everybody. Good evening, Prime Time Squad. Come on in. Come on into the room. Come on into the upper room, y'all. <laughs> so we can get started on this good old review for uh Mary to Medicine. It is the last reunion part three of episode C well actually season six. So Make sure on your way in, you click the like button. Make sure you share the video to your social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter, um, Instagrams, Instagrams. <laughs> and also make sure you uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Those of you watching from Instagram, my YouTube channel is Tanya Knows No Limit. And also the other one is Tanya's Primetime TV Media Reviews. And if you like cake decorating or, you know, anything like that, desserts or whatnot, my uh, YouTube platform for that is uh, Tanya's Delights Slice by Slice. So please make sure you guys on YouTube and Instagram follow all three of my YouTube channels. And I would really appreciate that. Thank you very kindly. But anywho, um, we're going to go over Married to Medicine tonight. And again, it's season six, and it is reunion part three. And basically, they opened up where they left off last week, where Andy was speaking with Quad and Dr. Gregory. And I guess he was trying to, like, get a feel of their relationship or where it was going or not. So, you know, they started rehashing, first off, how... Gregory, he had went and did an interview on the Frank and Wanda show and had told them, you know, how him and Quad, you know, their, their relationship isn't going good. They were separated. She had filed for divorce. And they also, he was talking to them about their sex life uh, or lack of, I should say. Um, he was on that show telling them, you know, we haven't had sex in a, quite a long time. Um, and I'm up there like, wow. <laughs> Why Quad was barely opening up to the ladies on the show, Dr. Gregory was going into full details on a popular, popular radio show. So I, I understand why Quad was kind of upset about that. And for him to remember, like, he remembered exactly, exactly. Now, they've been separated for a while. But he remembered exactly the last time that they had had a sexual encounter. And I'm like, okay, either he can remember the exact date and time and place because it was either great or he remembers it because it was horrible. But what from he said, it was a very horrible experience. They had started out... Um, I guess it was just too much hurt, too much pain, too much stuff they was going through and Quad couldn't quite, uh, let's say, um, go through with it, you know? So that's probably why he remembers it. I mean, he was like telling Andy and Quad, I remember the exact day. I remember what we were doing that day. I remember what color suit I had on. I remember what color socks I had on. He remember what kind of moon it was that night. <laughs> I'm like, wow. Okay, okay, okay. But, 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 Quad, again, I can understand where she's coming from as far as you went on a popular talk show talking about their sexual relationship or lack of. Oh, that is something really, really personal. Even, even if you guys are like, I mean, they was going at it. She done took everything out of the house. They've been fighting. I mean, but still to go on, on I mean, Frank and Wanda, <laughs> let's say Cat Williams. Okay. Y'all know what show I'm talking about. Um, that show is pretty popular. Everybody listens to that show, but you know, again, I understand where Quad was coming from. But then, you know, when she was like uh, being harassed, well, not harassed, but when the ladies on the show was asking her, you know, for certain details of her relationship, you know, some kind of tea, um, I can see why Quad was keeping a tight lip, tight lip 
when it came to like her relationship and what was going on. I mean, the ladies darn near had to beat information out of quad, you know, for her to spill any type of tea on their relationship. And he's up there giving information away, giving free information away. Like it ain't nothing. Like it ain't nothing, you know, not even taking in regard her feelings, you know, or how she might have felt. But anyway, anyway, um, they got on the topic where she was talking about the woman that you know, they, they showed the scene, you know, when Quad was upset. I think they were at the couple's uh, retreat and Quad was upset and she was going off because Gregory, she had went, she claims, okay, she claims she had went to a club or bar, some kind of establishment. And Gregory was with another woman. And she was upset. She was going off. They showed the scene, you know, where she was going off. She was screaming. Looked like she was about to break down because she saw her husband with another woman, you know. And I guess she's thinking, yeah, okay, we separated. But I ain't with nobody else. He's already with somebody else. And mind you, keep in mind, the whole reason why they're separating is because the blogs. Y'all remember when Gregory, the late, I guess the lady, whoever it was, he claims he didn't sleep with her at the hotel. He claims they got a hotel room. He started feeling guilty. Feeling guilty. <laughs> and then go through with it. And basically, since he had already, you know, got the hotel and already paid for it, why not use it? Why not spend the night? No need in going home. The hotel room is paid for. You know, why not just stay here? That's what he claims. He sent the lady packing, but he ended up spending the night at the hotel anyway. Do y'all believe that? I still don't believe that. I still don't believe that. But anyway, and then after that, she sees him at, you know, a club or whatnot, you know, with a lady. And she was like, but you were dancing with a lady. How are you going to say you weren't with someone when you were dancing with the lady? But him up there laughing and giggling, you know, how Greg, he up there laughing and giggling, you know, trying to make light of the situation, saying, I wasn't dancing with that woman. No, I was not dancing with that woman. Instead, he said she was dancing with me. <laughs> he was dancing. <laughs> I'm like, Gregory, just stop. Just stop. Just admit it. I mean, you said you didn't have sex with the other chick that you met up at the hotel with. Which I still don't believe. And neither does Quad or none of the other ladies on the cast, by the way. But now you spotted sitting, you know, out with a lady, you know, y'all being all romantic and cozy and dancing and stuff. And he's like, oh, she was dancing with me. Okay, Gregory, stop. <laughs> stop. Just fess up to it. Just fess up to it. But anyway, you know, I think that him joking around about it, um, making light of the situation, I think that was kind of his way to, um, you know, like maybe cope with the fact that he still, he still loves her. He, it's so much pain there. Um, when I first started watching the show seasons and seasons ago, at first I really thought that they had a great relationship, but after watching this, after watching this, reunion part three i don't know why i don't know why i got that idea but anyway um when she started describing in detail the abuse that she endured during that relationship i was like what the what are you serious quad are you serious like she said there was a time when he tried to suffocate her. He held his hands over her face, over her mouth, and tried to suffocate her and kill her. That's what she claims. That's what she claims. And then on top of that, there was another time when I guess they was arguing in the car and he tried to steer them off the road or I don't know, maybe try to crash the car and kill both of them or maybe just try to hurt her and hope he walks away, you know, unscathed. I don't know. I don't know. I, after that, I don't know. I, I guess that would have been a wrap. I mean, at least you would have thought, you know, one would think that would be a wrap after all that. I really don't understand why people stay in relationships like that like 
after taking ass whoopers like that, I don't care. And I don't care. I, I really don't care who's beating on who. It ain't right for the woman. It ain't right for a man to put their hands on their uh, on their mate. I don't care if it's man, woman, woman, man, 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 woman, woman. I don't care what kind of relationship you got. It is not right to put your hands on anybody. On anybody. But when she said he slammed her to the ground, like slammed her to the ground. And he was like, oh, but you put a knife on me. And she said, well, yeah, after you slammed me to the ground. <laughs> I'm like... That's that's a lot. I mean, that's th that that's a lot going on in a relationship. And again, one would think that that should be a wrap after all that abuse. I mean, okay, they 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 admitted they both was putting their paws on each other, so it wasn't like he was whooping on her all the time. She said, she said her words. They both were putting their hands on each other. But the reason why y'all separated was mainly because you had found out he had took another woman to a hotel. Okay, let's weigh this out. Cheating, getting your butt beat. Cheating, getting choked out. Cheating, getting slammed to the ground. Y'all tell me, y'all tell me, I would have been out after the first slap. You can't thump me on my forehead without me being out. Deuces. <laughs> Deuces. I'm out. It's a wrap. I'm calling my cousin and them, my brothers and them, my uncles and them, and the homies and them. I'm getting my goons. Because you ain't going to put your hand on me. <laughs> you ain't going to put your hand on me. I would have been gone. I would have been gone. But anyway, everybody ain't built like that, I guess. Everybody ain't built like that. But um, I know for a fact, after hearing all that, I, I really, okay, first off, I understand why Quad couldn't open up with the ladies when she when they wanted her to. Like, first I thought it was just because it was it was just, you know, too much. You know, I don't really want to talk about it. We breaking up. You know, he cheated. I really don't want to talk about it. You know, I'm still hurt. And I know that was part of it. But I know for a fact, if the ladies had heard about all of that, like, all of that, they probably would have been even more judgmental than they already were. Without knowing none of that, they already were super judgmental. And what about the men? I wonder if the guys um, would still be wanting to hang around him. You know, after finding out, you know, all about the abuse and whatnot. And most likely it probably would have been even more harder, you know, to choose sides because the fellas was always like, you know, Gregory cool. That's our boy. You know, we miss him. We miss hanging out with him, but they always chose sides. And when it came to hanging out, having parties, going on trips, they, I think, like I said in my last review, I think they basically just was like, okay, you know, we want to please our wives. We don't want to sleep on the couch. You know, <laughs> they don't want to get into no argument with their wives. So they was just like, okay, we're going to go with them. They want Quad to come. They want Quad at the parties. They want Quad on the couple's trips, even though she ain't coming as a couple. And that's what we're going to do. But I wonder if they would have known about him dragging her and him choking her and him suffocating her. And she, I, I don't know if, if it would have been like, you know, a little bit more harder to choose sides. I don't know. I don't know. But like most relationships, you know, um, even with all the hurt, the pain, the abuse, they still love each other. They still love each other. They said it several times during the reunion part three that they still love each other. But, but this what confused the hell out of me. In the back, in the green room, or in the dressing room, wherever the other people were sitting, you know, when just Quad and Gregory was on the stage, I hear Mariah, not Mariah, but I think it was Heavenly and somebody else talking about, fix it, Greg, 
fix it. Why don't he just fix it? And I'm like, fix what? Like, really? Fix what? What do y'all want them to fix? They not having sex. They abusing each other. Suffocating each other and slamming each other on the ground. She's pulling knives out on him. Ain't no telling what else, you know, that I'm sure they didn't tell us all of it. You know, they, they ain't gonna tell us all of it. You know, <laughs> when you're in an abusive relationship, you don't ever tell all of it, all of what you're going through. I mean, on top of that, she done took all the furniture out the home. She done moved out. She filed for a divorce. Um, Y'all think there's any hope of them getting back together? I don't. I mean, miracles can happen. <laughs> I still believe he works miracles. But, but, in this situation, I think it's a done deal. Um, he's dating somebody else. She claims she's not, but I don't know. I think it's a done deal. I think it's a done deal. And then, I mean, they obviously been whipping on each other throughout the entire relationship. Like, remember, um, before they even got married. Now, a lot of people think that they fight before they got married when they both got arrested and got the mug shots and all that. Um, a lot of people think that that was over the fact that Quad allegedly was sleeping with Mariah's brother-in-law, which they've been, you know, beefing about, you know, recently. Uh, that's allegedly, though. They were fighting each other and whipping on each other before they even got married. Um, and instead of going their own separate ways, they still remain together. Moved in together. Stayed together, got married. Mistake number one. Mistake number one is like if you getting abused before you even jump the broom, if he's cheating on you before you even jump the broom, if there's no trust before you jump the broom. Do not drunk the broom. I mean, just don't do it. That was mistake number one. They still went ahead and got married and everything and been whooping on each other ever since. <laughs> that ain't funny, but I'm, <laughs> I don't know. Couldn't be me. Couldn't be me. Again, couldn't be me. But then, you know, they say once an abuser, always abuser. I would hate to think that that's true. Just like they say, once a cheater, always a cheater. I would like to think that's not true. And people can change, but I don't know what y'all think. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Once an abuser, always abuser. Once a cheater, always a cheater. Yes, no, maybe so. Y'all let me know what y'all think. But um, Andy, when he brought them back, uh, when he brought, you know, the ladies back on stage, um... And, well, not just the ladies, but he brought everybody. I guess uh, Quad and Gregory, you know, after a very, very emotional, you know, few minutes with Andy on the set, they walked out. You know, they had to gather themselves. Quad had to gather herself. He brought the rest of the cast, the men and the women, husband and the wives, um, back on set. And the ladies was talking about, you know, how hard it was for them to hear about them putting their hands on each other. And I understand. I understand. But why, when Contessa said if she had would have known of the abuse, she would have never encouraged them to try to stay together. Why, when she says that Mariah was talking about, well, we really need to be careful what we say because we really aren't sure if there was really any abuse. I'm like, okay. <laughs> what did I just watch? What did I just watch? What did y'all watch? Y'all let me know. Um, was Mariah watching a totally different show? Was she asleep? Or was she on drugs like Quad, you know, keeps alleging that Mariah is on drugs, like not just weed. And, and weed does, you know, make you forget stuff sometimes. It does mess with your memory. I, I, that's what I hear. That's what I hear. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> but Kwai allegedly, you know, said she's taste drugs and is stronger than weed. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm like, what you, what, what, what? We obviously was not watching the same show. I'm like, did you miss all that? The dragon, the suffocating, the trying to stab him with a knife, slamming her to the ground. Did you miss all that, Mariah? Did you? <laughs> I mean, everybody, including Andy, was like, um, well, <laughs> well, they both did just, just say, not last week, not last month, but they just did say that they both were putting their hands on each other. They both admitted that he specifically asked them. And she said, yes, we both were abusing each other. And I'm sorry, but Gregory did not say that's not true. I didn't touch her. She didn't touch me. He was like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I put my hands on her. She put her hands on me. It is what it is. It is what it is. But <laughs> Toya was like, <laughs> Toya, who ain't even messing with Quad, like, they beefing too. I mean, who ain't beefing on this show? But anyway, she ain't even messing with Quad. And she was like, well, we shouldn't be using the word hit. So I'm like, okay, well, what word should y'all use? Um, Tap? He tapped that? I mean, what? Pat? Touched? What, what, what word should you use besides hit? In the place of hit? In the place of choked or suffocated or slammed what word should you use <laughs> i'm like these ladies why are they acting like they are in denial of what they just witnessed the two of them just say i don't know i'm i'm, I'm lost here I'm, I'm really lost here i don't know but um I don't know. The rest of us heard it. I heard it. Andy heard it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. But I'm with Eugene. I really thought that Quad was going to say something else to Andy. When he was asking her, you know, what do you want to say? What do you want to say? You know, get it off your chest. Say it with your chest, Quad. Say it with your chest. And Andy kept pressing her. And she was, you know, tearing up, breaking up, you know. And... I don't know. I think I'm with Eugene. I think she wanted to say something else. Like, it really seems like maybe, just maybe, she might want to say that she hopes there is still a chance in hell. I, I don't know. That they get back together. I don't know. What y'all think Kwa was going to say? Um, She definitely wanted to say something more than what she said. But she didn't. I don't know why she didn't. I don't know if it was because she was on national TV and she didn't want nobody judging her. I don't know what she was going to say. But I think Eugene and I is on the same page where we think that Quad might have, I don't know, just the way they were looking at each other and talking to each other and asking each other, how you doing? How you been? You look good. You know, <laughs> I'm proud of you. I'm proud of what you're doing. You know, it just seemed like there was so, so much love there. But we all know, we all know, love is sometimes not enough. <laughs> it definitely is not enough. But um, Mariah, she was ro just rolling her, rolling her eyes in her head. You know, when Kwai was trying to explain why she was so closed up during the most part of the season and you know why she was refusing to let them in when they kept you know pressuring her and asking her you know what's going on tell us about your marriage where are you living where are you staying is y'all in the same house you know did you file papers you know they was always coming at her with questions 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 and not showing as much concern to me I, like i said they was just trying to be some nosy rosies just you know just wanted to know what was going on so they could have something to gossip about, something to talk about. But um, I think 
she was really, again, you know, trying to be sincere with them and Mariah, not Mariah, but yeah, Mariah, uh, rolling her eyes, you know, up in her head, doing all this and stuff. Um, I think that's probably because her and, you know, her and Quad is still beefing over her brother-in-law. She keeps alleging that Quad slept with her brother-in-law, broke up, you know, the marriage, uh, with Quad's sister, you know, Quad's sister's husband. So, hey, I don't know. I don't know if they'll ever be friends. What do y'all think? <laughs> do you think Quad and Mariah, I mean, do y'all remember when the show first started? Hey, Miss Hog, <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> do y'all remember when the show first started? Like when Quad and Mariah, when Quad was on the scene, Mariah, you know, Mariah, she basically introduced her to everybody. She brought her to the show, um, to the cast, and they were like so, so, so very, very close, like so close. And now it looks like they can't stand to be in the same air, the same presence as each other. I don't know if they'll ever be friends ever again. I don't know. Y'all think there's any hope? Let me know. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But, but, <laughs> what, how the heck, I don't remember, like, how, <laughs> you said they would never have the same relationship. I think so, too. And that's sad, because they really, they really used to be so cool, so cool. But, um, when did, I don't remember how we got on the conversation or how they got on the conversation about, uh, the long stamina. That that's what I'm gonna use. I'm that's what I'm gonna use because I don't wanna uh have to censor my uh YouTube. <laughs> so how did they get on the conversation about long stamina? Like, okay, is that what Eugene was handing out on a couple's trip? I remember he had handed the guy some stuff, but I don't know. I, I could I don't remember that. He was talking about um it was something to make you even hornier than you already are. And I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to watch that again. <laughs> I'm gonna have to watch that again and see which product he was handing out because he gave Andy some on the set. And then Andy was like, Is this gonna make me you know any hornier than I'm already is? And I'm like, Andy, um, you really might wanna rephrase that. Because um, <laughs> if you're trying to say you horny right now, um, that's just TMI. TMI. <laughs> Too much information. That's what it was, Miss Hall. Thank you. <laughs> it was so special, honey. I'm going to have to find out what it was. I mean, not like somebody I know might could use some longer stamina. But, you know, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, I don't be doing that dirty stuff. I don't be doing that. Dirty. I'm a Christian. I'm a good girl. No. <laughs> but anyway, anyway, um, remember last week when I had said I couldn't wait to find out why Toya was telling them that her JJ was priceless. I was like, what the heck? When they showed the previews, I'm like, what the heck is Toya talking about? Why is she talking about her JJ on the reunion show? But anyway... <laughs> Anyway, one of the viewers had wrote in, you know, they had a question and they asked her, um, your husband bought you diamonds and you gave him coochie vouchers, coochie coupons. <laughs> I am. I'm a good girl. Don't I look like a good girl? I'm talking to y'all on Instagram and YouTube, <laughs> but I'm like, she gave him coochie, co coochie vouchers, coochie coupons. And the viewer who wrote the question, she was like, um, I'm sorry, Toya, that's not good enough. So you need to step your gift game up. And the other ladies was like, my man don't need no coochie coupons. <laughs> ah, did y'all catch the shade? Did y'all catch the shade? If y'all didn't, I did. I get it. I really get it. First of all, first of all, and this is no shade to housewives because housewives do a lot. They do a lot. Um, but she's a housewife. 
And I'm not saying housewives, like I said, I'm not, they, they raise babies, they clean up, they do laundry. They do a lot of stuff that we do who work all day, but still no shade towards a housewife. Um, but this man done worked three jobs. Y'all, y'all remember all this? When they had got in trouble with the IRS, those of you who follow the show, Married to Medicine, he worked three jobs for how long? He worked like 200 hours a week for how long to pay off their IRS debts, which was in the hundreds of thousands. And then, and then after he paid him, he paid all those bills, all the IRS and everything, you know, granted they, they on the show, they get money, you know, from the show and everything, but he was working himself to death, hardly ever came home to pay off the IRS, and then turn around, they get a $2 million house built from the ground with a two-story closet for her, and he gives her diamonds, upgrades her wedding ring, and she gives him coochie vouchers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Come on now, Coochie Bowser. She should be throwing that tail at him four times a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, and 366 on the leap year. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Coochie Vouchers, million dollars a house, working his butt off to pay off the IRS debts, and he, every, all the other couples, all the other couples, Miss Hall, that was a terrible gift, terrible gift. And she talking about my vote, JJ is priceless. Girl, bye. <laughs> bye. I don't know. <laughs> D Jones, I don't know. I'm just like, all the other couples on the couples trip, they gave really sentimental gifts from the heart. Um, things that they knew or might have thought their mates, you know, wanted, needed. Even Mariah bought Quad a gift. And that ain't even her mate. Quad was there by herself. And she bought her some jewelry. And he gave her, she gave him a coochie coupon. <laughs> oh, oh I, and, and, and mind you, mind you, all ladies, all ladies believe they for JJ is priceless. So you don't think you're over JJ more priceless than the next chick down the street. I, I, let's just keep it a buck. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> I was like, really? That that just got me. That just got me. So, you know, the viewer who wrote that question in, she's right. Toya, you need to step your gift game up. Step your gift game up. But anyway, um, when Andy had dismissed the men, and had brought up, you know, how Toya had got real petty, you know, at her party that she had threw for Eugene um, when he had got a promotion. Uh, and she had got real pissed off because, y'all remember that? She got real pissed off because Contessa didn't show up. Contessa's father was very, very, very ill. And she wanted to be with her father. Toya was really acting and trying to front on the reunion show like she really cared about Contessa's father being sick. Don't tell me I'm the only one who remembers that scene now. Um, when she, her, when her husband, her, her husband, he actually came, you know, in her absence, you know, because he wanted one of them to at least show up and support, you know, the party, support Eugene. And I'm like, are you for serious, Toya? Not for real. Are you for serious? Like, really? Really, Toya? Then she tried to blame Heavenly. She tried to blame Heavenly. Because, okay, Heavenly had, you know, they was like, well, let's call Contessa. You know, let's find out, you know, what's going on with Contessa. They called her, put her on speakerphone. Um, But just because Toya tried to use that as an excuse. Well, um, Heavenly was being petty. You know, that's why I got upset because Heavenly was being petty. But just because they had her on the speakerphone doesn't mean Contessa deserved to be verbally abused like that. I mean, what you say, Miss Hall? Contessa not feeling? Nope, nope. She ain't feeling Toya at all. She sat right on that stage 
and said that she first was going to be like, oh, I'm sorry, Contessa's not here, and she's with her father, you know, who's really ill. Girl, bye. <laughs> <laughs> that is not what you was about to do at that party. That is not what you was about to do. She made it a point to make sure she shaded the heck out of Contessa in front of everybody, in front of everybody. She didn't deserve that. She still don't deserve that. And as far as Toya hitting her in the chest, okay, I'm going to side with Contessa on that one. But as far as Toya hitting her in the chest on purpose, I still don't believe that Toya did that on purpose. I, I still don't. I still don't believe that, regardless of how much beefing they was doing. Um, I don't think Toya would go that low to hit her in her chest where she just literally had surgery and was cut open and had her breast removed and then had an implant put back in. I really don't believe Toya... I don't think she's that low. I don't think she's that low. But, so I'm not being biased to either one. I'm just keeping it. I don't think she did it on purpose. I don't. But, um, I think those two ladies, you know, they used to be very, very close, just like Quad and Mariah. Um, I think those ladies probably need to find, like, a nice, quiet corner, you know, away from everybody and try to work things out. I really do. I think they could possibly work it out if they get away from everybody and it just be them two. Um, I don't know. I don't know. And if that don't work, we can always call Yanla. <laughs> we can always call Yanla. Speaking of Yanla, I'm looking forward to the next season. Did y'all see the previews? Do y'all even watch Yanla? Like, I saw the previews on the shows that are coming up this season, and I'm telling you, I'm going to be there every week for every show, every episode, because them episodes look juicy. So y'all might want to check that out. Check out the previews for this season on Ayala, and make sure you you put it on your DVR so you don't miss it, because I'll be reviewing those as well. I'm just letting y'all know in advance. But, um... As far as the show, like, are y'all looking forward to um, Married to Medicine LA? Anybody? <laughs> I think I am because Married to Medicine is like one of my favorite uh, reality shows. And I mean, they got love in hip hop, LA, New York, Hollywood, you know. They all over the place. Um, they got a lot of the... Um, what's the other one? They got Married to Medicine. And then they got... Uh, what's the other... I can't... The Pontiac. The the Wise or Pon Pontiac or something like that. I'm still waiting on that show to come back on. Is that show coming back on? I don't know. I haven't seen no previews for that. But I think it would be interesting to see how... Um, to see a different angle of the Married to Medicine... But um, I don't know, uh, Miss Hogg. I really don't know. But Andy did say that one of the ladies on that show was uh, Contessa's best friend, one of her besties. So mm, I think it's going to be pretty good for one day from L.A. So I don't know. I think I think it'd be a little twist on twist on the show that I think we'll probably like. I don't know. Y'all let me know if y'all if y'all anxious to see that. Um, I, I need to find out when it's going to start, probably since this is the last, um, reunion, this was reunion part three, so this is, like, the end of this season. It might be, like, I don't know, February, March, I don't know. I'll check it out. I'll check it out. Yeah, I think it'll be interesting, too, Miss Hall. <laughs> I think so, but I also wonder, um, like, I had asked in my, was it the last episode, I think? Okay, do y'all think Quad is going to be allowed to stay on the show? Because the show is called Married to Medicine. Um, Simone and, you know, her man, her husband got back together. They was about to get divorced. Uh, Dr. Jackie and her husband was about to get divorced. They both got back together. It does not look like Quad and Dr. Gregory is going to get back together. 
So since the show is called Married to Medicine, I wonder, will they scratch quads, you know, her position on the show and try to find somebody else who is either married to medicine, a doctor, you know, psychologist, dentist, you know, whatever. It just got to be in medicine. So, you know, I was wondering about that. If we're going to, you know, if we should expect to see quad next season. Do you want to see quad next season? <laughs> I actually like quad. I actually like quad. So, I mean, I don't know. I think I would feel kind of like how they did on Married to Medicine, how um, Phaedra left. And a lot of people is like, oh, they shouldn't have put Phaedra off the show. They need to bring Phaedra back. You know, I think if Quad left, a lot of people would feel the same way, you know, like they do with, uh, you know, Housewives of Atlanta. But y'all tell me. Let me know what y'all thought about this show. Um, put it all in the comment section. Make sure um, everybody on Instagram, make sure you follow me on YouTube as well. Um, Tanya Knows No Limit and Tanya's Primetime TV Media Reviews. And don't forget my cake decorating uh, YouTube channel, Tanya's Delight Slice by Slice. And those of you on YouTube, my Instagram handle is Tanya Primetime TV. So let me know what y'all thought about the um, last season part three, the last reunion part three. And let me know what you think about Quad being on the next season and what you think about the new Married to Medicine LA cast. Are you anxious for it or not? Let me know. And as usual, Prime Time Squad, in the meantime and in between time, stay safe, be blessed, and I'm out. Deuces. Oh, what you say, Miss Quad? Okay, y'all, on Instagram, Miss Quad said, I'm sorry, not Miss Quad, Miss Hogg said, as far as Miss Quad, to give her a spinoff, we got, you know what? That's a good idea. Give Quad a spinoff regarding her new life. Hmm, that's a good idea. I like that. I like that. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, tune on, Miss Hogg. I'll see you later. I'll see you in these YouTube streets. You know I'll see you. And um, everybody on Instagram, Ciao, ciao. See you later.